these ships. So, uh, Stealth B is a tough one. Stealth B is a, ver a really tough one. Um, I'm probably, let's, uh, you think Lanius B is really difficult. <laughs> you mean the strongest ship in the game? It's so hard, we better do that one. Let's do a, let's do a Mantis A. That's kind of a good middle of the road one. It's really strong, but I can understand some people not. Um, not being confident with a boarding ship. It's a very different play style. So, still can't beat the game on easy, Toby Hunter? Well, hey, maybe watching these runs will give you some, the, the tip that clicks it over for you. So, educational stream on the Mantis A. Reason I love boarding ships is because you get higher rewards from boarding, killing off all the crew. The dangers are certain ships um, are like immune to boarding, like um, auto scouts, and certain ships like um, uh, Zoltan Shield ships, if you run into them, Sector 1 can be really rough for boarding ships, especially like Mantis B that doesn't have a weapon to get through their Zoltan Shield. So, so you have a captain now since you won, guessing the SCOA? <laughs> sure, you can be a captain now. I was missing the third team with the Kestrel. Um, yeah, I just get down to one health and repair to full. Again, I got it on my previous save, so I don't feel the need to get every achievement on this run. Not getting good enough to win with it. I can, I can understand people being bad. <laughs> All right. What's great about this ship, though, is um, Mantis boarding is my favorite because I do mo the most damage against crew, so you can crew kill crew well. They have a small bomb to kill heal bays and clone bays or even weapon systems or whatever. <laughs> and you have a basic laser to kill auto scouts. So of the Mantis ships, this is the one that is probably best equipped to deal with all the different types of ships you're going to run into. I will still say, almost with every ship, my first goal is to get level 2 shields. And this is a ship where I definitely want to do that. Get level 2 shields, and then probably a weapon upgrade pretty quickly. Um, we're going to be able to board for a while, probably the first three sectors. Boarding falls off when you only have a two-man boarding later in the run. If you don't get, like, more Mantis and a really high-level boarding uh, teleporter room. So... We're probably going to board for the first half of the run and then try to have a good weapon system by Sector 4 or 5 to start killing ships. It's probably our goal. It's only RNG blocking you from these two achievements. It's only RNG, and RNG is my largest, biggest enemy. So that's our goal. We're going to get level 2 shields, get weapons upgrade, kill crew as often as you can with this ship. The more crew kills you get, the more uh, rewards you get. Finding long-range scanners in the store is always a pretty high priority. Um, trying to think what else is difficult with this ship. Small bombs are really great weapon early on. <laughs> for all the reasons I mentioned earlier, for helps with boarding. <laughs> and uh, even against auto scouts, you can kill their shields. Your basic laser can get through its shields. So. All right, let's do it. Let's give it a try. Let us give it a shot. Now, what I want to do with my crew here, put your NG on piloting. Then get uh, two Mantis on boarding. Because it's a boarding ship, you're going to want to board. Double Mantis is about as good a boarding crew as you can hope for, other than, like, double crystal dudes. So, um, let me see here. 